We now travel to Cranbourne East to check out this modern design that is perfect for narrow lots. We catch up with the interior designer, Nicole, as she shows us around. Hey Nicole, I've um, got to tell you, really great use of space. Thank you. That's what this is all about here, isn't it? This house is exactly about use of space. It fits on a 10 metre wide block, so it's perfect for knockdown rebuilds, but it feels like a luxurious family home, and that's what we wanted to do. Absolutely, and it's got a real modern kind of take on it, hasn't it? Definitely, it's sort of that high-end contemporary vibe of use of the marble finishes and timber floors and a lot of geometric shapes in the styling. Yeah. Uh, and it also is up to the client in how they style it. So you could make this a sort of warmer, more contemporary home. The light well's really clever here um, because it's allowed that, um, that light to flood into to these spaces. It gives you another outdoor area. So you could put your barbecue out there. It comes straight off the main kitchen okay. and it allows you to kind of have an additional space from the backyard. Well, that's actually a really good idea because if the wind was blowing from this way and you couldn't use this um, El Fresco space, you'd use that as the El Fresco space. It's a great little inner city style courtyard. Yeah. And we've had clients put plunge pools out there and spas and stuff like that. So it's another outdoor area that's segregated from the main one. So again, kids could be outside, adults could be in the other area. So it's a lot of different spaces in quite a small design. We are restricted because of the size of the blocks um, and so this house can fit on a 10 metre wide block um, so it's very hard to make the space work but we think we've, um, we think we've nailed it on this one. We've sold quite a few of these homes um, but we, we never sell it as per display because there's always customers requirements such as having a balcony at the front or a balcony at the back because you want to capture views or you want to capture the um, northeast aspect. Um, so we sit down with clients and really work out what they want and, and just customise it and bring their flavour into our home. The kitchen really flows. You can be at the oven cooking, serving out into the alfresco area. Everyone can be on the TV watching the footy and you can have, you know, eight to 12 people over for dinner. Well, especially with this table. I love that table too, by the way. It's, it's probably my favorite piece in the whole house. It's a driftwood kind of thing going on there. Yeah, we've got, um, it's old railway sleepers and then glass put over the top and then the metal legs. So it's sort of really industrial chic, but it's a real heart of the home. I love it. It's a great idea actually to have the alfresco space where it is because you've got a servery off the, off the kitchen here. Exactly. The whole house is designed as a real entertainer's house. So it gives the flexibility to be able to have barbecues or teppanyaki nights or whatever yeah. it is and serve straight out to the guests. You're an interior designer. I mean, people who are watching would love to get some tips. So can you give us some tips on um, if they've just bought their new home, they're about to move in, what's some things they've got to consider? The key thing is to commit to one look. We all tend to like two or three styles. It's natural. So you might like high-end contemporary with no color or stuff with bright colors. Really sort of narrow down one particular style and commit to it in the whole house. Okay, so if you like the Hamptons look, just go with it. Just go with you it. Go for modern, go for modern. Okay, all right, number two would have to be don't over design so okay. every space doesn't have to have a thousand different things in it and furniture everywhere and rugs and artwork and stuff so pull back what you think you need by about 10 percent okay and number three color so again really stick to those two to three colors that you use over and over again okay and i always say no matter what you buy as long as it's within that color palette generally it'll work in the space so for instance here you've got a painting and you've kind of matched things to that in this house we use pops of bold colour. Yep. So it's a really grey on grey base, but we've used those really bold colours throughout in artwork and furniture pieces, just to give it some sort of pop. The master suite is separate from the other bedrooms and that's deliberate so the parents can have their own retreat. It's got an open ensuite in there, king bed fits, and the house is also designed for blocks with views. So it's okay. got that huge big picture window which could overlook anything, ideally the ocean. Thank you so much, Nicole, great to see you. Pleasure, thanks Gary. No worries.